Hey, so today I want to talk about uh, a little tip that uh, my friend Rick Broida brought to my attention um, regarding storage space on the iPhone. Um, I, I personally have uh, you know, made a point of buying the larger capacity uh, phone, 64 gig, 128 gig, because I don't like to deal with out of storage issues. Um, I, that's not, I don't want to have to delete apps to download other apps. I don't want to have to delete apps to uh, install the latest update, whatever. I, I don't like having to play around with that stuff. So I'd rather just spend the money and get the larger capacity in the first place. Uh, but I recently gave up my 128 gigabyte uh, iPhone 6 in favor of, or maybe not in favor of, but um, my company uh, gave me uh, a, an iPhone and I didn't need two. Um, so I got rid of mine and I, I, I kept the company one, uh, which happens to be a 16 gigabyte model. And I've run into, uh, on a number of occasions, the out of storage issue. I've actually deleted apps um, that I don't use frequently, but that I use. I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about Angry Birds or Candy Crush. I'm talking about actual, like, you know, Google uh, Calendar or, you know, Gmail app um, that, you know, is not super important to me, but it, you know, I did did use it. But I, when I look, when I, when I would go into manage storage and look at the list of all of the apps and the space they were using, there really isn't anything in there that is using a you know unusual amount of space or an, an app that um, I don't use frequently. So I mean, 16 gigabyte is just Apple shouldn't even make that size anymore because if I can't just install a, a an average number of apps, um, none of which are actually that large. I don't have a bunch of photos and videos stored. I don't have any movies stored. I don't have any music stored. Uh, you know, if that alone is enough to fill the phone to capacity, then that shouldn't that capacity shouldn't exist. But I digress. So let's get to the point. The point is, I found out from Rick, from a tip that he posted, that it's not actually full. There's space available on the phone, um, and the tip that he he. Uh, pointed out and, and listed the steps for is, you know, you can go into the settings, into general, um, let's see, what is it? It's settings, general, and then storage and iCloud usage. You can't really see that because of the glare. Storage and iCloud usage, and it'll show you what the available space is. Um, if you go to the iTunes app and then try to rent a movie that you no, for a fact, exceeds the available storage. And, and he used the example of uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, because even to, to, you know, to, to rent that movie, it's like a 6.3 gigabyte download. Um, so you try to rent the movie, you know it won't work. You end up getting a message, uh, an error message that says that the, the movie cannot be downloaded. Um, and if you go back and look at your storage availability in, in the settings, suddenly there's another two, three, four hundred megabytes of space available that wasn't there a minute ago. And you can repeat this process. Um, so I ended up doing it four or five times. Uh, and I went from less than 100 megabytes of available storage to 2.8 gigabytes of available storage. Um, so that, you know, basically, I, I, I reached out to Apple. Rick had to, he didn't get a response. Um, I reached out to Apple. They sent me some stuff that didn't really answer the question, but I, if, if I'm extrapolating properly from what they did send me, it sounds like the, the official explanation is that the phantom space is being occupied by a cache file. So when you watch videos, when you view photos, when you stream stuff online, um, all of that builds a cache file. And that cache file doesn't show up as something that you can delete. Uh, because iOS is supposed to automatically delete it if that space is, is necessary, if, if it needs access to that space. Um, but apparently that doesn't really work. I mean, it, it ostensibly is working in this case. Um, you know, basically iTunes or uh, iOS seems to be saying, oh, you're trying to download this movie 
and it doesn't fit in the available space, so let me free up some of the cash for you. Um, but if, if there is no manual way to delete the cache and all you can do is wait for iOS to automatically realize you need space and delete the cache, that trigger should also happen when you want to download an app or when you want to you know, uh, use the camera uh, and, and, and record some video or take a picture. Um, and, and that's not happening because I've, I've gotten error messages saying, hey, you can't take a video, you're out of space, or you can't download that app, you're out of space. Um, you know, so that's a, it's a, a, strange, a strange issue. But bottom line is, um, if you do have a 16 gig phone, or even, even if you have a 64 gig phone and you're you know, somehow running out of space, you've got a bunch of movies stored and you, you wanna free up some space, give this a try. Um, just keep in mind, uh, you need to make sure you pick a movie of sufficient size. Um, like, if you've got four gigabytes of available space and you play with this trick and you pick the wrong movie, uh, if the movie actually fits in four gigabytes, you might end up renting a movie you didn't want to watch. So um, there's a, a little bit of a gamble there. You need to make sure that you don't, uh, you know, don't, don't push it. <laughs> you know, so... I was able to push it because it maxed out at 2.8 gigabytes. You know, I, I kept trying it after that and I didn't free up any more space. So apparently that literally is how much space I have available is, is 2.8 gigabytes. But um, anyway, give the trick a try. Talk to you later.